In the world of AI and image generation, Stable Diffusion 3 was supposed to be the open source king, a free, accessible, open alternative to the big closed source competitors, the Dolly 3s, the Mid Journeys. But as we saw, Stable Diffusion 3 took a very long time not only to actually release to the public, but once we got our hands on it, initial reactions were very mixed, and understandably so. A lot of outputs were very problematic at release, the licensing was very confusing, essentially forcing Stability AI to rewrite it entirely, and still the quality just wasn't competitive with the closed source competitors. So despite its potential, it just hasn't hit the mark for many. But just when the open source community needed it the most, a new hero has emerged. Introducing AuraFlow. This model sets a brand new standard for the open source image generation community. I would say the image quality of just this first iteration of this model is absolutely incredible. And like I said, it's a first iteration, so we have yet to see its full potential blossom. So today's video is going to be a deep dive into AuraFlow, my reasoning behind why I think it's going to be the new king of open source image generation, and how it stacks up against the closed source competition. So before we dive into this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, AuraFlow's story of fruition is somewhat interesting and definitely important for understanding why this model is so important. AuraFlow emerged from the open source community's need for a new advanced text-to-image model. The journey began with Simo, a researcher known for his work in generative media models who aimed to create a state-of-the-art model. His initial project, which you might have heard of, was Lavender Flow. Now, this model showed promise, but didn't really make any waves because it needed further optimization. Around this time, the team at Fall.ai sought to develop a top-tier open-source model, something to compete with the big boys, and they came together with Simo to bring the resources and computational power necessary. So Simo and Fall AI's collaboration led to a few improvements. Number one, efficient layer design. They were able to reduce unnecessary layers or filters so that the image generation happens quite a bit faster. They were able to optimize the training and increase zero-shot learning. Essentially, the model is able to learn more without extensive tuning. They also recaptured the entire data set for better outputs as a whole, and redid some of the architecture to optimize it. And after weeks of development and optimization, AuraFlow version 0.1 has been released. The prompt accuracy is really impressive, and the high quality image generation is just as impressive. Again, this model is entirely open source. It's free for anyone to download and use and make money off of. Now, before we dive into some of the more technical differences between AuraFlow and Stable Diffusion 3 as well as closed source models. How do you actually use this thing? Well, what's actually pretty awesome is that you can actually just head over to this website which is linked down below, AuraFlow Playground on Fall AI, and you can essentially use it for free, even commercial use, as you can see right up here in the corner. As far as I know, you can do infinite prompts, but I'm sure after today's video, the servers are going to get clogged and there's going to be some sort of a queue system, so your generations might take longer than other ways of running it, but in my experience, it's still pretty dang quick. Real quick, before we do some initial testing, I do want to mention there are some other free places you can use AuraFlow right now. I'll link these spaces down below, but this one has a prompt enhancer as well as image uploading. And as you can see, it works pretty well. There's also a pretty simple AuraFlow demo that is available by Multimodal Art, also on Hugging Face. Again, same sort of deal on here, but actually a few more options than the default. And finally, for the most amount of settings and options, you can use it on Replicate. With height negative prompt, we can even go up to double the typical standard width and height of the image generation. So again, all of this will be linked down below for the maximum amount of places you guys can test out and utilize this new model. So let's go ahead and input a little test prompt. 3D animated Pixar style anthropomorphic lemon wearing sunglasses relaxing on a pink sanded beach. Tropical trees blow in the background and the lemon is holding a drink. It's a pretty complex prompt. Dolly 3 could pull this off. Mid Journey could pull this off. Ideogram could pull this off. Let's go ahead and just click run with the default settings and we're going to get two image results. And here are our results. Let's be honest folks, at first look, this is pretty dang good. We got that Pixar style lemon 
one character to the tropical beach, the pink sand, the drink, all very coherent. It's impressive, no doubt. We will try some more difficult prompts, but obviously you can see right off bat, Dolly 3 competes very well, and I would say has the same level of fidelity and image quality, at least for this prompt. And then here we go with Ideogram AI, which honestly, I largely consider to be my favorite image generation model right now. But at least for this prompt, some of the finer details are sort of a struggle for Ideogram. It is important to keep in mind though, that as we compare everything today and really get into testing, Ideogram is closed source. Dolly 3 here, closed source. Auraflow, open source. Anyone can download and use this for completely free on their own machines or run their own servers, etc, etc. Auraflow's strengths become even more apparent when we compare it to something like Stable Diffusion 3, and with that prompt, this is the output we get out of Stable Diffusion 3. Now granted, this version of Stable Diffusion 3 is not fine-tuned for anything. This is just the raw model, so we can't exactly expect the output to be competitive. However, if we go and actually look for Stable Diffusion 3 models that have been fine-tuned, you can see even on Civit AI, they're quite slim and hard to find. There's a few anime ones, there's some different famous folks and portrait models, but nothing I would consider to be for general use. Not only that, Stable Diffusion 3 is still banned here on Civit AI. For those aforementioned unclear rules around proper usage of Stable Diffusion 3, Instability AI's license. Well, yes, they have improved that license, as you can see from the comments down here saying open SD3. There still really isn't any great access to Stable Diffusion 3, making Auraflow absolutely hands down the best open source model. Let's dive into some detailed tests across multiple image generators in comparison to Auraflow. The models that we're going to be testing today are Auraflow, Stable Diffusion 3. Remember, Stable Diffusion 3 is not fine tuned, Dolly 3, Ideogram AI, and Midjourney. Our testing procedure is obviously going to be to generate images, compare the outputs. First prompt is going to be a bustling city street at night with neon signs, a food cart selling hot dogs, a street musician playing the saxophone, and a group of people waiting at a crosswalk. In the background, there is a tall skyscraper with lights on and a full moon in the sky. So obviously we have something like eight-ish elements that it needs to capture. Accuracy of the city scene, detail in the signs, realism of the street and the people. Can it even get all of the elements in there? I mean, uh, these prompts are all not for the faint of heart. All right, folks, let's kick things off with our first two Auraflow generations. So bustling city street at night, definitely see some neon signs. We have the food cart selling hot dogs and the quality of uh, the street signs and the hot dog cart aren't exactly perfect and especially the people are pretty morphed. We do see a group of people waiting at the crosswalk. We do see the tall skyscraper in the background and a full moon, but it's kind of a part of the, the skyscraper. So overall coherent. The currency of the scene isn't great, but it did include all of the elements. This one came out very, very similar. Again, we have all of those elements except for the moon, but the, the moon is on like a sign for some reason in the background. Obviously, the hot dog cart is completely distorted at the bottom here. Again, very difficult prompt though. I think that Stable Diffusion 3 though actually came out a little bit worse. We do have the saxophone in all of these actually, but the hot dog cart doesn't look as much like a hot dog cart. There isn't a specific tall skyscraper in the background and that is kind of a moon, but not really. Now I gotta say, ChatGPT's Dolly 3 did a pretty great job here. We definitely have a hot dog cart, even labeled hot dogs. We have the guy with the saxophone, we have the people on the crosswalk, the moon, the tall skyscraper. It did a pretty phenomenal job. Obviously, still not going to be perfect. Now guys, here's one of the reasons I love Ideogram AI so much. It did a pretty great job here. Definitely got the hot dog cart, although those hot dogs look pretty weird. Guy with the saxophone absolutely got the moon and the skyscraper in all of these every single time. Pretty much all of the elements are captured in the image every single time. And it also didn't apply like this cartoon-esque filter like we saw with Dolly 3, which I also enjoy. And finally, we come to Mid Journey, which is pretty stylistic result overall, but didn't really capture everything. We got the moon, the skyscraper, and the neon signs, and the hot dog cart for sure, and the guy with the saxophone is pretty much visible in every single one, but it's a little bit melded, a little bit mushy. I would say best to worst here, Ideogram takes this one, I think, at the end of the day, it had the most accurate and best results, followed by then ChatGPT. Then, rather divisively, 
I think I'm going to give Auraflow and Midjourney a tie in this regard. They kind of have their own strengths and weaknesses, but I think Auraflow just came a little bit closer to what the prompt was directly asking for. And obviously, Stable Diffusion 3 is going to come in dead last here. All right, guys, I'm not going to read the prompt every single time, so I'll just put it on screen right now, and you guys can pause and read them if you want. All right, now this one... I think is a little bit of an easier prompt in comparison to the last one. Definitely a fantasy warrior on the cliff. Golden armor for sure. Lots of little intricate designs, I would say, although not that intricate. Holding the glowing sword, dragon emblem in the other, sky behind them, lightning. Pretty darn good. I think all of the elements were clearly captured in a decent quality with aura flow. I think that this one is a little bit better though. The sword is clearly glowing a little bit more and there's clearly a dragon emblem on this shield. I think this one one's just a little bit better, but right off the bat, solid star for Aura Flow. Now again, the unfine-tuned Stable Diffusion 3 gives us some pretty wonky outputs here. The shield's not really attached to him. The sword is kind of this weird amalgamation. So next up, we have Dolly 3 giving us a very stylized result, which is surprising, and I know I am using this in chat GPT, so you might be like, well, isn't it, um adjusting the prompts for you and the answer would be no it's just putting them directly in as you can see from the prompt but very interesting golden armor here glowing sword for sure which looks pretty epic we have the stormy clouds in the background and it did add some extra dragons and that could be seen as like a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you're looking for but overall pretty great scene here now next up we have ideogram which took this really strange route of doing everything in like a cartoon-esque style you you can see all of the results are in this same exact style but they do incorporate all of the elements intricate armor very detailed dragon emblem in each and we have the lightning and the stuff in the background and finally we come to mid journey which again incorporates most of the elements but has a little bit more glitching in some of these photos like the sword looks pretty wonky this guy's face is a little bit screwed up i would say and there's also a sword jutting out of his knee down here i think number one here is clearly going to go to dolly three it has the most detailed armor and incorporates all of the elements very nicely and then i would say that ideogram here is about tied with aura flow in terms of producing an image that has all the elements i think you could easily say though that aura flow and ideogram followed the prompt a little bit more accurately than dolly 3 just because it did decide to add these extra elements in i would then give mid journey a little trail behind them just because of some of the weirdness that's going on with the image generation although i do like the artistic style that these mid journey images have and finally in dead last again stable diffusion 3 so next up folks we're going to be doing a surreal scene with text elements so essentially we just have welcome to paradise in this elegant ornate scene so we're looking for text generation First off to a pretty decent start with Aura Flow here. The floating island has all this greenery on it. It does say welcome to paradise, although it's pretty dang rough, but you can kind of make out the words. It is in cursive as stated in the prompt, but the waterfall and the island and everything do look very nice. Second generation is a little bit better, a lot more clear welcome to paradise with these islands and this greenery and these lovely waterfalls. Pretty great generation. Pretty great output also from Stable Diffusion 3 this time. It definitely says Paradise pretty clearly, although we don't see Welcome 2, and the text is very small. We got a nice island, though, with some beautiful trees and a, a beautiful scene overall. Dolly 3 absolutely comes out swinging here with Welcome to Paradise completely spelt correctly, except for this E right here, and this lovely ornate sign in this lovely paradise with these beautiful waterfalls all streaming down it's it's quite a nice image i would say and the prompt does specifically ask for an ornate sign which is nice to see on both dolly 3 and if we go back to aura flow it's a pretty ornate sign it's definitely a sign though now Shockingly, Ideogram AI does a pretty great job, but doesn't necessarily produce this ornate sign with the text on it. It's just sort of floating text, which I think speaks to some of the strengths and weaknesses that Ideogram might possess. See, this model, I believe, is trained on a lot of text that is just put onto the screen. It makes it great at generating text for, like, thumbnails and stuff, but when you want it specifically on a sign, like in this case, while all of these are spelled correctly and more correctly than the others, miss the 
part where it's supposed to be on like this ornate elegant sign although i gotta say the waterfalls and the island are looking pretty great and the text is pretty much perfect on all of these and then finally we come down to mid journey which shockingly again this is on the default settings you might be able to get better text with a better prompt and better settings with mid journey but the default settings produced not a single sign that even had a correct spelled word so not looking great for mid journey although i really do like the lush greenery and the, and the falls and the overall style of the images but they aren't that much better in terms of style in comparison to the others for this case I think that I kind of have to give it a win for Dolly 3 in this circumstance and maybe a tie for Ideogram AI just because the text spelling was so impressive on all of the Ideogram generations. But yeah, it's either a win for Dolly 3 or a tie between Dolly 3 and Ideogram. Right behind it, I'm gonna say Aura Flow sits directly in the middle. Again, it's not a perfect sign, but with some better settings and maybe a better prompt and some more generations, we could get perfect signs pretty consistently. And behind that, I'm gonna put um, Stable Diffusion 3 in fourth here, not in last place, shockingly, because it did say Paradise correctly on an ornate sign. Got most of those elements in there. And then finally, shockingly, Mid Journey is going to be in last place. Did not spell a single sign correctly, I'm sure. Again, adjusting different settings, different prompts, you can kind of get these right. But these are pretty basic prompt layouts, a nice mix of both natural language in these prompts along with specific details listed out in comma format. So I'm, I'm going to have to put Mid Journey in last. So next up we have everyday object with unusual features. So this is kind of testing the imagination of these models a little bit more. Vintage typewriter that is made with keys that are of colorful gemstones. This should prove to be a very, very difficult prompt. All right, guys. Let's kick things off here with Aura Flow producing some pretty satisfactory results. Gets most of the elements in there. Obviously, the text on the typewriter up here is not going to be legible in any of these, so it fails in that sense. Got the small elegant desk lamp. We have the vintage typewriter, and the keys are all made of gemstones, which is nice to see, although they're not really that well aligned, and they look pretty AI generated, at least in this image. And same kind of goes for this one. They're kind of just like hovering there in like this awkward way the lamp doesn't look great gotta say not a great showing from aura flow in this regard i actually think that for the first time here stable diffusion 3 might kind of line up with aura flow at least compete with it we've got all of these keys here in a very similar sense the lamp is actually supposed to be illuminating the scene in this prompt and it is not doing so actually in stable diffusion 3 so it's doing it in the other two from Aura Flow, so I think this might actually be another loss for Stable Diffusion 3 on second thought. Now, Dolly 3 no doubt gives us a pretty beautiful result with this vintage typewriter here. We've got this old paper coming out of it, a nice desk lamp illuminating things, and then these gemstone keys here throughout, and they all look pretty fairly well connected to the typewriter. Next up, we have Ideogram AI with, again, very similar results. I think these look a little bit more consistent and realistic though, and actually maybe even more detailed than Dolly 3, but it is very, very close indeed, I would say. And finally, we have our results from Mid Journey, and this time I think the showing from Mid Journey is actually quite good. Very vintage looking typewriter. The actual connected pieces of the typewriter look quite a bit better, I would say, in Mid Journey in comparison to the others, which is pretty shocking. So for this result, at least, I think I'm actually going to be giving the win here to Mid journey just because there's the least amount of floating keys in comparison to all the other images all made of gemstones got the nice lamp illuminating the scene as a whole i'm then honestly just going to go ahead and give um ideogram ai and dolly 3 sort of like a tie in this sense although if i had to pick a winner i think i'd give it to ideogram and then finally we come down to aura flow which honestly didn't have a great showing for this prompt especially in comparison to the others here but i think it does edge out stable diffusion 3 because of the whole lamp illumination situation next up we're going to do animals in unusual situations so this is going to be a panda bear with a chef's hat cooking a gourmet meal in a professional kitchen very classic style prompt not easy to get though all right and aura flow comes out here in the beginning kicking pretty hard with a very detailed panda cooking a meal although his paws aren't looking great and the silverware is a little mushy modern appliances we have a view of the bamboo forest in the background and it's sort of the same thing over in the second generation 
Kitchen, but I think a little bit better. Again, modern appliances. He's a gourmet chef. He's wearing the hat, the apron, bamboo forest in the background. All lovely. Stable Diffusion 3 comes out here with a pretty decent result as well. Bamboo forest in the background, modern appliances, pretty much gets everything. ChatGPT comes out with a pretty similar result, although he's kind of sitting on the floor. He doesn't necessarily look as though he's cooking a gourmet meal, which is a little disappointing to see from Dolly 3. Now, Ideogram AI comes out swinging very hard. We have a very detailed panda, apron, chef's hat, modern kitchen, bamboo in the background of all of these, and he is cooking a gourmet meal in pretty much every single one. So I think that Ideogram is going to be pretty difficult to beat. But finally, we come back to Midjourney here, and I gotta say, Midjourney is kicking some real tail in this test. Not all of their results are fully cohesive, like we've got a floating plate of food here, which is a little alarming, but I gotta say, the art style and the uniqueness, he really looks like he's cooking up a gourmet meal, he's wearing the hat, he's wearing the apron, we see the bamboo forest in the background, and especially with this image, I gotta say, I think combined with that, those extra style points there, I might have to give the win to Midjourney here. Although, if you like your realism, Ideogram AI definitely takes the cake, so I think depending on on what you prefer more for your image generation. It's either going to be Mid Journey or Ideogram in this test. Then, in my opinion, followed pretty closely behind by Auraflow, which did a pretty great job. Finally, trailing behind that, we have Stable Diffusion 3, and I think in last again, I'm gonna have to put Dolly 3, because he's just sort of sitting on the floor, he's not really cooking the meal, he's just looking cute. None of these generations are bad by any means, but when you look at those Mid Journey generations and those Ideogram ones, Oh man, those are really good. But Auraflow, impressive showing for sure for a prompt like this. Definitely not last. And finally, for our last one, we're doing a historical recreation of a medieval marketplace. Alright, first up we have Auraflow. Pretty okay-ish showing so far. Definitely have a medieval marketplace. Looks straight out of those times, I would say. The fruits are looking okay, but a little mushed together. The clothing all looks pretty great. There are supposed to be horses in the background and a castle. The castle looks pretty good, although a little bit mushed up and weird. And the horses, I gotta say, not really too visible, and it doesn't get much better with the second generation. So... Not a hugely great start for Auraflow. However, if we look at Stable Diffusion 3, the faces are a lot worse. There are some horses, but overall, this is definitely not as coherent and not nearly as good of a generation as Auraflow. Next up from Dolly 3, we have this up top wide angle view instead, and it's an interesting way to go about it, but we do see a horse here, which is nice. All of the food laid out, and it's definitely a, a historical looking image of a medieval marketplace. The detail isn't great though, I must say. Now, Ideogram AI comes out here with a much more realistic set of looking images. I mean, they really look like they're transporting you back into that medieval day with that medieval marketplace, and I gotta say, horses are visible in a few of these images. They're a little bit warped and a little bit weird, but nevertheless, I'm pretty impressed with Ideogram AI for sure. And finally, we come to Mid Journey, which gives us this very historical drawn image, something you'd see in like a textbook. And I'll be real, I don't see a horse in pretty much any of these. So that is going to be an issue for sure. Although, hey, there's like one little horse in the, in the background here. Winner, I'm going to give to Ideogram for just the sheer amount of detail and the sheer accuracy of really transporting you back to that time. I think it does a pretty good job at that. Trailing behind. I'm gonna give Dolly 3 the win for that. It's a pretty good recreation here. We have a horse. And this is a tough prompt, so none of these are perfect. I think Mid Journey has got the horse down here in the bottom, so I'm going to give them the third place for this one. And then trailing behind them, we have Auraflow, who missed the horses, but, you know, still kind of had them, just a little bit warped in the background, and overall did a decent enough job rendering this. And finally, in dead last, again, we have Stable Diffusion 3. So I think the conclusion that we can draw from this test is fairly clear. Aura Flow, in its first current form, again, not even fine-tuned or adjusted by the community in any way, is already pretty competitive and very good at doing things like rendering text and rendering different scenes in an image, getting all of the things from the prompt in that final result. 
It is very impressive in that sense because it is open source. It competes with Dolly 3, it competes with Ideogram and Midjourney. It can be better or worse depending on the conditions, and it absolutely, in most cases, is better than the unfine tuned Stable Diffusion 3, and it's out there for free to download and use and apply right now. I gotta say, Paul AI and Auraflow, great work so far. I'm really excited for the future of this model. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Give it some testing of your own, post on my Discord server any results that you have and some findings of your own. There are some things that we didn't cover in today's test, like famous characters. I know that can be important for people, but I'm going to leave that to you guys for now because this video, let's be honest, is long enough. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.